looking so forward to being out on the road. And any of you girls out there that think that you can't do it, I'm 63 years old. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're like 42. Oh, but thank you for that. I'm 63 years old. If I could do it, anybody could do it. Just focus, focus, focus. She's like the hottest 63 year old lady. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, thought, I hope I, you look like that. I'm like, she's, I mean, she, she, she I'm like, she's she Keisha's real. sister. <laughs> Some of the truckers. So, we are here at a wedding out here on Ontario, California. And we're here with basically the bridesmaid's mom, which is basically family. And we heard through, we were having a conversation. Yep. And you're going to go into trucking. Yes, I am. So tell us about that experience right there. Well, on Monday, October 25th, I will be training with CR England Reefer. And um, I already have me a dedicated run, which is awesome, which makes me feel special. Um, the dedicated run will be from Southern California to Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Nevada and Utah. So and it's Walmart. Oh wow. So tell me about this right here. Like, you know, you're already a hot mama. What are you doing truck driving? <laughs> I get it from my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love but, that. My dad um back in the day had a trucking company uh pulling bottom dumps. And recently, about two years ago, I was out on the road with my husband and he had um step deck. Mm -hmm. So I traveled um, to America with him and I'm currently going through a divorce. So now it's about me making it by myself. Regards to, yeah, woman trucking, you a know. A woman trucker could do just as well as a man. As far as being dangerous, I worked the prison system for 20 years. Woo! I am not afraid. You got to tell us a little bit about your background now. <laughs> okay. I left. Uh, California Department of Corrections after 20 years and I left as a correctional lieutenant so I'm not afraid I got God with me God God covers me so I'm not worried about that that sounds like you pretty much worked one of the most dangerous jobs out there yes I did you know can we even talk about any crazy situations um, in there I mean is it true what they say like gang members and this and that, and they flock together. and Yes, yes, that's absolutely true. But I can honestly say the entire time I was there, if you give respect, you get it back. I had problems, didn't have not any problems with the inmate. Only one time, and this guy was mentally challenged. Mm. Yeah. And then there was a time, if you want me to tell you this one. Oh, episode. you had to put hands on somebody? No, no, never, ever. <laughs> no, I was always in a supervisory position. I always promoted up because I didn't want to be on the line to have to deal with anybody. So um, one time this guy, I'll just say a white male, um, we were in up at Wasco State Prison and he came through the uh, child line, which is the meal line, the kitchen, and he had two trays in his hand. You're only allotted one tray. So I asked him, give it back, put it back. He cursed me out. The whole chow hall got quiet. We're talking about 500 inmates in there. It just stopped. And he said, you better get the F back. And I looked up him at his size. I said, yeah, I better get the F back. <laughs> but later on, because um, the officers came over and said, Lou, Lou, you want me to get him? You want, him, want us to get him? I said, no, he can't go anywhere. There's nowhere he can go. I'll talk to this guy later. Later on, the... um. It's a group called the BGF Black Gorilla Family. They came to me and said, Lieutenant, what happened in the child hall? We got that. I said, no, 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 no. Because when they talk about got that, they're going to take care of it. I said, no, no, I'll take care of it. Later on, that same guy that was from the kitchen came in and he apologized to me. I was in my office. The officer said, Lou, there's an a inmate so-and-so wants to talk to you. And I said, Oh, okay, send him in. And he came in, he apologized. He said he thought I was a fish, a new fish on the yard. And I'm like, you didn't see my bars, my railroad tracks on my shoulders and my hash marks all up my arm. And um, I never had any problems on that yard again. But again, you even out there, which when I was out 
trucking with my husband, you give respect, you're going to get it back. We met so many people and the kindness of strangers is just overwhelming. I can uh, speak of one time we had went to, I can't even think what state it was, but we delivered um, some kind of racks at this factory, this manufacturing company. And there was a guy driving around on a golf cart. And I was out there helping my husband unload, taking off the um, straps and everything. And this guy pulls up and he asked me, did you guys eat lunch? And I was like, no, after we unload, we're going to go down the road and get lunch. He says, no, get in, come with me. We're going to go get you and your husband some lunch. These people were having a banquet. I'm yeah. talking about a spread. Yeah. And all the employees were in the um, lunchroom, and I'm walking in with the president. I had no idea who this guy was. But again, the kindness of strangers. He gave us at least a $30 meal. Love it. Yes. And it was... Like I say, just kindness is stranger. If you give respect, you get it back. And I'm looking so forward to being out on the road. And any of you girls out there that think that you can't do it, I'm 63 years old. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're like 42. Oh, but thank you for that. I'm 63 years old. If I could do it, anybody could do it. Just focus, focus, focus. She's like the hottest 63-year-old lady. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, thought, I hope I, you look like that. I'm like, she's, she, she, she I'm like, she's she Keisha's real. sister. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love yeah. it. So 20 plus years working yes. prison system. Yeah. And then going... uh, 20 years working um, for uh, residential youth, uh, probation, probation kids in a residential facility and at-risk children. And now, uh, again, I started out with my husband trucking so you ready to go i'm ready to go I'm ready. I love a it. new career just I starting it. over i love it i love that smile you have and you're just ready <laughs> i'm ready you know i'm ready looking forward to it wish her the best people wish her the best thank you thank you thank that was y'all. easy right y'all. that was easy that was, that was good you, that was amazing that yeah was she was good <laughs> yeah. and then now we just gotta take one picture <laughs>